Yeah, there's this video that went totally viral on all platforms over the weekend of a TikToker named Jackie La Bonita. And Sounds like a real name. <laughs> she basically recorded herself uh, at a baseball game. Uh, her phone was on a tripod, and there were some girls behind her who did not like that she was recording. Bringing a tripod, it's got, it's got to be how guys feel when girls bring, bring tripods to the gym, or when bo guys do, when people bring tripods to the gym and they just don't want to be feel, like in the background yeah, of your I shot. just think nobody has to be part of your content. We've talked about this before. There was this video of that girl from... In, who is like hanging out in Times Square and this dancer like comes up to her and taps her on the shoulder and she gets very startled. And everyone was one. saying- $20 one right there, Gabby uh, Hayes. Gabby Hayes said, Phil is 100% right. I had a plan for the past two years to drop four mixtapes in a series together with artwork for them. Came to the sad reality that would decrease plays and hurt me overall. Mm -hmm. Have to drop singles instead. Also, um, like uh, viral content is becoming popular for music too. I've mentioned this in the show before. That's People the best thing that can happen to your song or yeah, your like, whatever. But just like uh, there's this guy who is a, a channel called YX. It's an, a musician called YX where he records all these videos where he basically like makes fun of his wife in the videos or his girlfriend. Oh my goodness. And, and no, it's, 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 oh. they're like, and she's like part of it. Like she very clearly knows okay. what's going on. And it's like, like he, like he has one where she's like, she won't pick out where to go to eat. And he sings a whole song about how she can't pick out what the hell they're going to go have oh, for wait. Is that the singer? Yes, he's a singer. He is awesome. He's amazing. The one, the, when the first one where he was like, "You're late for work." Yeah, he, yes. he puts a he puts a huge oh, um like God. Uh, he puts a huge like speaker right on their bed and, he's and, a great and he wakes too. her up and he goes, "You're late." Like he like sings yeah. to her and it she's was, like, great. and she's just pissed. He's got great like, falsetto. She too. she oh, she wakes great. up and she's just <clears throat> mad at him and she's like half asleep. So she's like, "Why don't you wake me up like a normal person?" These are the lengths people will go to for TikTok. It's clout. oh, it's so worth it. No, it's, it's you have to so go, you have to go hilarious. listen. To it. He has an, he has a like where they're taking down the Christmas tree and it's called like you have time for other balls but mine. <laughs> And it's just, it's it's hilarious, dude. And like he's like, That's and I no, here's the thing for musicians like that, they're then they I listen to their serious music. And I can't get into it because I'm just yeah. like the real music doesn't hit the way the the meme music the meme music does. does. The, the, it kind of shooting yourself in the now. Foot. Okay, he, back to the back he's guy. a great singer though. He is. Yes. So uh, this woman just in the past 24 hours has gained over a hundred thousand followers mm. on TikTok. Um, Let's just watch this video. She she captioned it, please be nice. Hashtag mean girls, hashtag mean girl vibes. This one right here, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Watch my... I'm going to turn that down just slightly. Confidence disappear after these random girls make fun of me for taking pics. Okay, feeling my spice vibes. She's giving her the middle finger. Was this I mean, necessary? That's kind of a dick move, but... I would do it. Criminally offensive side eye starts recording me. This is how That's we need to start responding to people with tripods at, <laughs> like trying to force you to be part of the convo. her bestie it. I don't feel I bad for I can this literally one hear the whole convo. <laughs> Realizing they are talking about me. Well, you brought a tripod to a baseball field. Self-conscious. <laughs> I wanted to cry. That's your own fault. Okay. So this video goes massively viral, gets shared across platforms, has like 60,000 shares. And she has mostly benefited from the situation and the internet completely mobilized with pitchforks and torches against, against these, these women. And now uh, they have been found on their social media, their personal social media, just from their faces, their professional profiles. People are going after their jobs, trying to get them oh, fired. God. I don't know if that has succeeded. I think actually they might have confirmed she was fired from her job, the, the <clears throat> girl with straight hair. For what? For just simply for being in a controversial post on social media. Like it, it takes and away she, from the company or something? This is only further confirming that she was warranted in her reaction. Guys would have just fought, guys are better. Guys would have just fought, guys are better. This, guys totally would just I beat mean, the crap out of each other. Guys are way better than girls. It's it's <laughs> yeah, it's so much worse, right, to publish a video with someone's face showing, it's knowing so that the entire internet 
is about to go on the attack. Like that is the underhanded move that this TikTok influencer was making when she posted the video and, and played the victim and cried about it. Like all you needed to do was post your picture and go. Like you didn't need to post your sob story knowing that these people would get attacked on a very it's personal also, level. Like people do not realize how serious doxing is. It's also why social media is a breeding ground for female psychopaths um, because social media That's true. is designed to hurt other people the way women like to hurt other people. Yep. Men like to hurt each other with their fists. Women like to socially scare the crap out of you and eventually get you to take a long walk off a short bridge. Social media is, social a, media is a nuclear weapon for, for, women. for women. Absolutely. Yeah. And th that was always going to happen in this case. And this girl, it's even worse because she's playing the victim here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if, they, if, if the average person takes it, but to play the victim here, she had to go into like Adobe Premiere, pull close-ups of these shots. Like she put a lot of work into making this video, right? This isn't something that was just she made edited out of it whim. very carefully. Yes, to perfectly frame uh, this story yes. where she is the victim, when in reality she is actually attacking those women in a much worse way for having a negative reaction to her having a tripod in a situation where you normally just wouldn't it's have a tripod. It's not even just the tripod. If she had the tripod but was turned in a way where the field was her background instead of other strangers, that would have been a totally different story. And here's the I understand it too because look, I've been skating for 25 years and I used to go I still do. I skate by myself all the time with a tripod because uh, like if there's nobody else around you go out and it's a little bit different because you're filming stuff that's dangerous so it's like you want a record of it in mm -hmm. a lot of ways but for something like that even then you get weirdly self-conscious if people walk by because you look ridiculous sure. I you do I don't I... think it's as ridiculous as what she's doing because no it's not you're filming yourself you're filming a, a skill set that you have that is also part of your professional yes like career but so... even then it's still there's still a little bit of like self -conscious consciousness because if they if like they're looking from far away they're like what the hell is this weirdo doing it's normal to feel that so she's like not only i don't think she actually felt self-conscious at all i don't buy that i think that she thinks that people who are watching this tiktok will think she's feeling that way and it'll make yeah. them feel sympathetic to her but you don't bring a tripod and just plop it down at a baseball field and then if say, you oh, feel I started feeling so self-conscious when no. they started making fun of me you clearly are uh, immune to that feeling exactly if you if you, you started like posing for selfies around a bunch of strangers it's so weird a and you know what it's just i am really scared of this future we are hurtling towards where we have to be in other people's content you're gonna have to like be everything is content and you could be you could fall victim to any <laughs> one of these psychopath influencers any day just for um, being in public. Whether you uh, gave over your a side eye to a girl at the gym who was filming herself, which yeah. I, well, wait, I, I think will that, admit. Look, I, we, just going in public now, I think that that's something that whether or not we like it, we've accepted because we accepted government surveillance from we cameras. We accepted that we're being surveilled, but when you're being surveilled, is the government then going to like Post a video dude, of you picture like picking the your wedgie. Is, the government is made of people. A, yes, dude. The, go, the government is made of people. Well, yes, yes, the, the government. government it, yes, the government. Is well, the, the thing is, is the NSA harvesting videos of you picking your wedgies and then posting it on Twitter? It that would be hilarious. On, it all depends on who the who the NSA agent is. I'm not saying that surveillance is not a bad thing. I'm just saying. It's not an exact comparison. My favorite is like, the memes. It says like my my FBI agent laughing at the memes I'm posting all day, <laughs> like or my FBI agent looking at my memes and realizing she has a crush on me. <laughs> the, the way that the, the way that like actual CIA agents get around the fact that they're supposed to be prohibited by law from monitoring Americans is they tell their friends in other countries that are counterparts in other intel agencies to monitor yeah, their friends in america it's so the they so it's literally it's like it's Mossad that's, wa that's watching <laughs> so, you and then sending it to the guy exactly. as a funny video but the, but the point is that <laughs> the point that i'm trying to make is i think that that's something that even like for this conversation i get you i get what you guys are saying but generally that ship has sailed yeah the idea of of not being of on privacy yeah of privacy in public sure. in, especially in a city if there's other people around I no think, so yes, what's worse? you're right about that but like <clears throat> I think there's much more of an acute impact to being in a video posted by an influencer where you're the villain in their now, victimhood story. Now it becomes now it becomes an, a, a a topic of behavior, yeah. or, or you know the discussion becomes about yeah. uh, you know 
behavior, you know, what is socially acceptable behavior with that kind of information or with yeah. with yeah. other people's identity. Yeah. If you take a video, that means you actually have some of their data. And I'm I'm one of those people that thinks that like your data should be considered your property. So like social media companies should have to compensate you if they're selling your data. There yeah. should be something like that. And I think that's something that I actually would would it would endorse some type of legislation surrounding but that's still a situation where like your phone number in someone else's phone is still your data yeah. and the government doesn't look at it like that and that needs to change so yeah. like that's part of the mm -hmm. thing that social media companies do so yeah. I, I think that there there needs to be people need to be aware that when you're taking video you are taking other people's data and there that that kind of stuff does have repercussions like when you put it on the internet yeah. and etc you, know? you would think that her like just showing her face wouldn't mean any identifying yeah. information could be found, but it took the internet less than 24 hours to uncover all of her yeah, re professional history, where she lives, her family members, facial everything. Recogni facial recognition technolo technology is on the internet now and you can get it for free. I yeah. guarantee it. So the, the idea, again, the <laughs> idea of actual privacy or the idea of, of being able to opt out of these kind of things is probably probably something of uh, in the history books. another crazy development here is that cardi b uh tweeted a reaction to this video and she has two 29.5 million followers and she said that she would put that ring to use meaning the the big ring on the influencer's yeah. uh hand she uh wanted to hit this girl yeah. with it and injure her with it because she laughed at you for setting up a tripod at a baseball game all alone yeah. to take selfies. Ridiculous. Like, I, I think that people have become so socially maladjusted and isolated on the internet that they think it's normal to say things like this. And I think the normal reaction you know, I mean, maybe shouldn't be <clears throat> throwing the middle finger at somebody. Maybe shouldn't be recording them. I mean, back maybe she could have asked, shouting like, "Could you them. please not record us?" But in your in the background, I, I don't think it's unwarranted yeah. to have a negative reaction to that. Like yeah. you are allowed to object to being in somebody's <clears throat> video that they're making when they have not a even asked you or done the courtesy of cropping you out of the video. Yeah, that's <clears throat> an insane <clears throat> expectation for everyone else to participate in your stupid content. Yeah. Uh, it's pro it is probably better to ask, hey, yeah. could you not put That's me in your video? I, I, right. I mean, you know, yes. as opposed to, like, to, if you're making faces but and stuff just, like that, you're, you're doing just something rude, for... so you deserve to have your entire life ruined. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's the point that we've gotten to. And her caption being a, please be nice, hashtag mean girl vibes, is the epitome of hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you are the mean girl. You are beyond a mean girl. Yeah. You are a psychopath. You're a female you are, psychopath. And you are not nice, okay? You knew what reaction this was going to draw and that, you know, everyone would be in favor of your side of the Just story. Cry bully. Yeah, it's it's classic cry bully behavior. Yep. Um, and I don't think people treat doxing with nearly <clears throat> enough seriousness. Uh, the consequences are not just for people who make inflammatory political statements or say slurs on the internet yep. or go to freaking Charlottesville. It could happen to anybody from any walk of life for any reason. Yep. And we all know that it could the, be you. I'm just the saying re, the re the actual, the actual reality of a situation <laughs> isn't actually yes. that important to like, yeah. it really does. Like if it's presented in a certain way, that could be, terrible re repercussions even if that wasn't the intent of what you were saying or also or whoever or controls the narrative exactly. first wins exactly now what i'm waiting for is that nsa sizzle reel of like america's funniest home videos but it's from the nsa and they just start releasing uh, all the clips of people doing stupid shit in public like somebody should make a fake nsa youtube channel and start releasing Terrifying. and start releasing security camera footage as if it was like taken from nsa servers that would be, uh, it's like, it can be, the moderator can be like E. Snowden. It'll be, uh, <laughs> it'll be fantastic. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye guys.